This Liberty Sports Update is brought to you by Beacon Credit Union. Uh, I believe so, yeah. Uh, knowing I just played the first half and put up all those stats. So, I mean, definitely I'd probably say, I wouldn't say complete because I didn't get to finish, you know, the whole game. But for me, uh, I definitely feel that was a really good game and something I needed to have under my belt this season just to, you know, give me the encouragement and, you know, just to prove that, you know, I could stood, I could do it and I got what it takes to do it. So I think that it was a really, really good game for me. Frankie, what's it like when an offense is able to go out there and put up those kind of numbers and just basically do what it wants? Uh, it's always a, a good sight to see um, us clicking like that. Um, kind of a culmination of, of what we've been trying to work for since um, we got together, since Coach Freeze and, and the staff have uh, you know, come in um, to finally get to see what it's uh, what it's like to be that efficient, um, but to also know that you know we have steps to take forward, and you know these next few opponents that we're um, coming up against, we're gonna have to be on point. Um, but you know we're taking steps daily to get to that point. And for both of you guys going into this game against a, a BYU team that's coming off a big win, you guys are big underdogs coming into this. I'm sure that. In some ways, you kind of like it that way, don't you? Yeah, definitely. Uh, you know, we, we can't be the favorite in every game. So, you know, they're a really big, really big uh, school, uh, you know. But we can't look at it, look at it as that. So we got to, you know, prepare how we've been preparing and, you know, uh, continue what we, we've been doing in-house, stu- in-house things to prepare for us uh, for this week. Yeah, definitely. Um, it's uh, just another game, another opponent. Um, that doesn't change week in and week out. Um, only thing that changes is the effort that we can give, um, and, and I know the guys are ready to go. So this will be a good week of preparation for us, and uh, we'll see what BU has, BYU has. For both of you, the offensive line has gradually made improvements throughout the year, and uh, second 200-plus uh, yard rushing performance. Um, but didn't get sacked. Is this offensive line a group that's constantly improved? And as a veteran group, uh, just really bought into the coaching staff and what it wants to see out of them on a weekly basis? Yeah, I, I believe so. Uh, you know, those guys work extremely hard to, uh, you know, go out there and do what they have to do on Saturdays. Uh, it's not it's not easy at all. So, you know, they really uh, take pride in what they do, um, you know, and they uh, – they really want it for themselves and for the team. So, you know, they don't, you know, honestly don't really make too much, uh, you know, mean mistakes, mental mistakes. But uh, for the most part, I feel they've been doing a really good job, man. You know, they've been clicking. Uh, Coach Sam's been doing a really good job with those guys uh, with, uh, you know, just their technique and for each run plays, their, their gaps and uh, their alignments, assignments that they've been doing. It's, it's been really good to see uh, on film. So, you know, I think uh, they're they are hitting their peak right now, and I think it'll continue to carry on for these last couple of games that we have. Yeah, they've uh, made strides week by week, day by day. Um, you know, obviously we have to um, take into account the coaching staff and all that they've done. Um, coach Greg um, is an amazing coach. For, for them and for us as a whole, um, as a team, um, just getting us prepared and getting us ready to see what we're going to see um, uh, every Saturday. But, um, you know, it has to start off with your effort and, and your physicality, which, you know, they bring to the table every single week um, and they get better every single week. So um, I'm just excited to see what, uh, what they have to do to, uh, to finish the season. How much is the consistency up front with Dante has been starting there every game that you've played? Uh, Thomas has been your center ever since the 2017 opener. Has that consistency uh, helped that there's you have guys who've been there, done that, and then you know Damian, Tristan, and Sam have also played a significant number of snaps over the last three to four years? Um, I think that comes with trust. Um, us as a, as a team, um, as a family, um, those those guys don't want to let each other down and they don't want to let us down and we don't want to let them down. Um, and it it is a, a great sight to see um, with our, our starting five up there. They are um, an amazing bunch, but it doesn't really matter who we plug in. Um, when it comes to, to us as a family, we, we all you know just want to do what we're supposed to do to be successful. Definitely. Uh... 
think Frankie hit on it really good. Uh, you know, they want to be out there as much as, you know, anybody else. So, you know, they take pride in what they do. Um, you know, they don't want to be the reason why, you know, somebody gets sacked or, you know, somebody gets through the line. So I think they take as much pride as, you know, anybody else. Uh, and then with the depth and the guys that's been here already and got a bunch of snaps, I think that helps us a lot, um, you know, because they have experience and then they could uh, communicate to the younger guys or the guys who really haven't had that much experience. So when, you know, they have to step in in those moments, uh, I feel they're, they'll be ready because of the experienced guys that's been there. They they really, the old linemen uh, really move as like a family, a family unit. So, well, a family unit inside of the family. So they, uh, you know, they pretty much do everything together. So I know if Dante Duff uh, messes up, I know he goes back and teaches uh, other guys like where he messed up at so they don't make the same corrections. So I think just having those experienced guys really uh, helps the younger guys a lot. For both of you, um, it's kind of been the elephant in the room most of the season, trying to get to uh, a bowl game, become bowl eligible, um, especially with you guys both being seniors. How much would it mean to you personally to become bowl eligible and need just you know one win here in your last three games? Yeah, it means uh, a lot. I mean, that's what we've been working for. Uh, you know, last year not being able to you know win anything uh, until becoming to this year, we're like you said, bull eligible, and you know that's our main goal, that's our main focus. But we can't look at it as oh, we got to win one more game out of these three. We got to look at it as we got BYU this week. Focus on BYU once once Saturday's over, Virginia and then uh, New Mexico. So we can't look at it as we got to win one out of three. We got to focus on uh, one game at a time each week, and I, f I feel like that'll get us to our bull our bull game, our bull game. Um, yeah, it's uh, it's a huge statement um, for for this university and for um, what uh, Dr. Falwell wanted um, for this program, and um, you know it's not just us; it's uh, you know every sport um, on campus that uh, you know we want to show the world that you know we we're really training champions for Christ and. Um, you know, we want to do everything in the Lord's name, but uh, you know, we can, we can punch with everybody else. For both of you guys, uh, going into a game like this against BYU and Frankie, you just mentioned Dr. Falwell. This is uh, one of the schools that he mentioned a long time ago about wanting to be for evangelical Christians. What BYU is to Mormons, Notre Dame is to Catholics. What kind of an opportunity? When you think of it that way, for both of you guys, what kind of an opportunity is it to go out there on Saturday on national TV against this school? Um, it's, uh, like once again, it's a culmination of, of everything that, um, we've gotten since we've been here. And, um, for me personally, something that I've seen, um, on this campus and, and growing for, you know, the past 15 years, um, I actually got a chance to, you know, be around, uh, Dr. Falwell before he passed away. Um, and, you know, y you think... Yeah, it, it'll happen. The vision will happen. But to to be around, to see it, um, and for it to come full circle, um, it's amazing. And I know that'll be um, a driving force for us, um, you know, this weekend um, on Saturday. Yeah, I think that just goes um, for all the hard work that we've been putting in to, uh, you know, now get the opportunity to go out there and play these big time schools, like he's like he mentioned. Uh, so I, th I think that uh, it's a really big game just because of, uh, you know, to talk about it, everything that uh, goes into a game like this. So um, definitely would be, it's definitely going to be exciting. Uh, you know, it's something that we, we dream for at this point, just to uh, go out there and be able to play, you know, these top-notch schools, how, how we've been playing. Were you guys able to watch any of the game on Saturday night they played? Yeah, well, we got back in time, to, so I watched you know, the whole game. Uh, for both of you guys, what did you take away from that? Uh, I mean, their offense is pretty, you know, they're pretty solid. They uh, can move the ball. But on the defensive side, you know, they, they're they physical. Uh, you know, Coach Freeze talked about it. They're they're really physical. That's what their, you know, their team is. Uh, that's what they live by. So I think we got to just, you know, be ready to go into a dogfight and be prepared to, um, you know, not let any mental – mental mistakes hurt us so I think we just um, just come out and you know execute how we've been executing these past couple of weeks and 
I think we should be in a, a pretty good dogfight with these with these guys. Uh, yeah, it's going to have to be uh, the most physical game that we've played uh, offensively, defensively, special teams. It doesn't matter. Um, we're all going to have to come in and bring it um, every single play. And, uh, you know, they, they've got a good coaching staff over there. Um, and, you know, they've got a good uh, family base unit where, uh, you know, they don't want to let anybody down um, either. So it's going to be a, a, a nice little matchup, a nice uh, battle for us. For both of you guys coming into a game like this, how, how big, how exciting is it for you to kind of have that chance to shock the world? You know, people that doubt you, just the opportunity to come in and and surprise some folks. How how exciting is that for both of you? Yeah, uh, it's really exciting uh, knowing that we can have the opportunity to come in and you know pull off the upset, but. You know, that starts with our mentality uh, coming into practice tomorrow. So I feel if we, um, you know, have a great practice throughout the week, it'll, it'll show on Saturday and, um, you know, we'll be able to, like you said, shock the world. But that just comes with, you know, our, our mindsets. Uh, and like I said, how we practice throughout the week really is going to show up uh, Saturday night. Yeah, our preparation says everything. Um, and and how we watch film and, and how we uh, practice every rep and practice this week and um, uh, honing into the to the keys and reminders that um, it's going to take for us to be successful and making sure we know our, our opponent and what they're going to do um, before you know we do it is going to be um, a way to uh, get a leg up on these guys which you know we're going to need it we're going to need to be physical we're going to need to be uh, mentally there um, locked in. Frank, uh, Josh Mack said this, I believe it was after the Buffalo game, where during the Sunday walkthrough, the running backs and the offensive linemen both got their tracks in order. So that way you guys were flowing in the same direction, not kind of going against each other. How crucial was that to making sure that everyone was on the same page so that line could create the holes for you guys that we've seen over the last few weeks? That was a, a huge transition, I think, um, in the in the team as a whole. Um, you know, you can't rely on Buck to have to make every single play. Um, we're going to have to um, complement each other. And uh, I think that yeah. Sunday um, changed the game for us. Um, and that, that, again, is a testament to Coach Greg and the rest of the coaching staff and um, just making sure that, you know, we're in the best position to, to be um, as successful as we can be.